Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. As always, I'd like to thanks again to one of my friend's feedback that mentioned my previous video was kind of uh, jerky. So has shared with me some tips to prevent this. Really thankful. So hopefully today this video will have a better quality. I will try to improve step by step and continue to do these videos to help everyone, especially in this current situation. So please share these videos to anyone who you feel it is useful to them. Thanks once again. And uh, I want to thank you to a customer who have pointed out that uh, at this current crisis, everybody are very worried or have been put on leave or even losing their jobs. So how do I still able to buy a property then? There is too many fears and uncertainty ahead. And how do I still able to save my money with property? Cause if my job may be affected as well, right? How am I going to service my money installment? Yes, I definitely agree with everybody that with the job uncertainty, now can be very risky to buy a property. But first of all, I want to say that my purpose of doing these videos is not just about buying and selling. And it's not about asking anyone here to speculate. Because speculation is so-called a risk factor. And I don't think it's right you're looking at property as a form of a short term. Because saving in a property is what? Saving your money in a property is for long term, not speculation. And that is why there's a bit of differences between stock and property. And I hope I can talk about these differences between stock and property for the next video. Although stocks are attractive now as well. But for property is what? It means that property we are looking at long term time frame. We are not looking at short term. That is the reason why I feel that property in long term, people will see a much more better opportunity in terms of saving. So my purpose is very simple. I wish everybody is able to learn first before they plan to buy their property or sell their property. Because many people actually have misconception about properties. But today, with all the uncertainties, business owners are struggling. The true fact is, everybody is struggling, especially those in uh, aviation now. People are losing their jobs. They are more stressed than anybody else, which I totally can understand why. Because if I'm in the same position, I will definitely have this same kind of concern, which really a valid answer to everybody here. And that is why today, I wish to share with you some strategy, how you can prepare yourself. So, if you still have a job right now, now is the time to step up, to be proactive. Because some income is better than no income. What do I mean by that? Which means that you don't mind to take on more responsibility, or doing multiple tasks or even take on tougher assignments because there is no more normal anymore, right? Or you don't mind to work extra hard. Even you may need to work from home or may need to work through the weekends. So the company will see you as valuable and willingly to fight with them during this crisis. Or you may even volunteer to take a pay cut to stay. Why is it so? Cause same thing here, some income is better than no income, especially during a crisis like this. For example, if you are making a $5,000 a month, your pay reduced to $4,000, you lose a $1,000, but you still be making a $4,000, which is better than you lose all $5,000 together. And we won't know when we will be getting our new job. They may take two to three months or even longer before there is any income coming in. And that will be very challenging for most families. So these are some strategy you can prepare yourself, stepping up and to be proactive, working together with your company during this period. So back to the saving your money in properties, for those 
who are in a very safe manner and you feel that you are comfortable, take this a good time to listen and learn. This is the best time to learn. If today you have some savings or you already have plans to upgrade or even you are buying your first home, this is time for you to learn and ask yourself this question. Are you comfortable? If yes, please PM me if you wish to learn how to safely buy a property during this crisis. Because it's really a big topic which includes research and analysis and how to determine the right entry price, etc. I would actually love to cover this in this video as well, but due to the timing, and I also wish to keep the video short. If not, the video can be too long-winded and will be very boring. So this comes to, to the end of my video. Please leave a comment below. I would love to hear your thoughts. And I'll see you in the next video. As always, stay safe and take care.